Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Diesel. This one's called Think, Think, Think. Simple as that. Think. What do you need to think about? What are we talking about? Well, have a think about it. When you've got a problem with your vehicle, the first thing you need to do is think. Okay? So, you might need to think about who to contact to book it in to get it checked out. Or you might need to think about problem you've got what the symptoms are and what might cause it okay now I can't remember what motivated me to make this video but sometime today I had this thought that this is what the thought was right people need to just stop um, asking questions without thinking sort of thing um, it's easier to just go oh you know oh I've got a flat tyre, what do I do? Well, you know, you put your spare on, you take it to a tyre shop and you get it repaired. You know, um, you know, I keep getting a flat tyre. Well, maybe look at where you're driving. Anyway, the point is, yeah, bad example, whatever, the point is think, you know, like, stop just going to the next person, or me, and asking a question well, you haven't even thought about it, right? So, if you want to ask or do some research to educate yourself, well, you keep watching all the videos, all the other videos on this channel, okay? Check out our Facebook pages and groups. The information's there, it's been going up for years. My point is, think. So this is gonna be a short video. Think, okay? Have a think about it, right? Does that make sense to you? Just because somebody tells you something, you know, you might ask the question and somebody says, just think, does that make sense to you? Does that make sense? You know, have a think about it. Mainly with the diagnostic side of things, and I'm not talking about diagnostic as in plug in and have a look at the diagnostic screen, you know, to do with how your engine's running and maybe injector related type things. I'm talking about diagnostic as in finding fault, you know, finding the fault. You know, what's the cause of the problem? Let's say, for example, let's use an example, okay? So, let's say we're in a workshop. We're in a dealership here, right? And we have a vehicle that's almost brand new, right? It's done 3,000 Ks. It comes in and it's blowing a fuse. What fuse is it blowing? It's blowing a park light fuse. Park light keeps blowing, keeps blowing. Hmm. Wonder what that would be. Do we just replace the fuse and send it out again? Well... Maybe it was just a bit of luck and a bit of bad luck that, you know, it blew a fuse and that's what happened. Maybe there's a problem there. So, look, you know, first thing you might do is go and pop a fuse back in there and see what happens, right? And you do get random fuses blowing every now and then and that's often the fix of the problem, right? But let's go to the next step. So that's A, replace fuse, everything okay, cool, okay. B, replace fuse, fuse blows again. Well, next step. You've got a problem, you've got a short circuit there somewhere, that's why the fuse is blowing. That's what it's meant to do. This is where think, think, think comes in. So what do you do? Do you go over to the guy next to you or the guy that knows the most about electrical, you go over and you say, G'day Wayne, how you going mate? Got a problem with the car over there, keeps blowing the fuse, you know? And he says, oh yeah, you know. Uh, they do that because sometimes whatever right we're not going to give you the answer yet and I want to give you the, what the answer is going to be I've got something I'm just making this up as I go I've got something in mind right I know what the answer is going to be but I don't want to tell you yet so we've gone over to Wayne and Wayne's a really helpful guy and he's told he's you know he could have just told us the answer and then you go and fix the problem and you put a fuse in and off the car goes what did you learn you just learn to ask someone right Mate, you're not going to get anywhere just asking someone all the time. It takes more time sometimes than finding the problem yourself. Think, think, think. Work it out, right? So you've got a fuse blowing, okay? You replace the fuse. The fuse blows. Oh, right, okay. So what you need to do is, you know, basically check out all those, depending on what it is, check out all those wires. Trace it, you know, you need to use test lights and things like that and multimeters, you know? So if you don't know how to use it, then... I suppose that's another video you need to watch on. Hey, I'm sure there's a video on how to find a short circuit, whatever, right? There's lots of videos. Google, search, whatever, right? Now, as I always say, you've got to be careful who you listen to. So if you think that um, 
there's a video that makes sense, you know, it's a basic thing how to do that, then that's the one you watch, that's how it works. Now, this video is about think, 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 though. it's not about how to use a multimeter, think, 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 right? So by thinking and learning some basic skills, you can just work it out yourself. Because when there's a problem like that, it could be something different every time. And you know, I'll just mention, I'm gonna just have to throw it in there. We're talking Toyotas here, so what happens with Toyotas, we don't have these sorts of problems. But in this case, it was a Hyundai dealership we're working at, right? It was a Hyundai, and they're just awesome. Of course, there's no problems with them, but we're just using it as an example, right? You, know, you just gotta know when I'm sort of having a joke and when I'm not. Um, so what we've done is, we've gone, well, you know, what could this be? So we've had a bit of a look around at some wiring, taken some trims off, been having a bit of a poke around and so I decided that I'm going to take the tail light out of the car right so I'm taking the tail light out right and I'm having a poke around and having a look and you know on that circuit there I noticed from manufacturing there's a piece of metal that's touching somewhere else that's not meant to be touching it's kind of cut and it's away but it, they're very close and in this particular vehicle for whatever reason in the manufacturing it just got bent slightly wrong and that allows it to touch every now and then or it's just moved a little bit in the 3000 k's the person's had the vehicle didn't come up on the pd you know didn't come up on the 1000 k free inspection service it's at 3000 k's remember we said so what do we do well look to be honest you can have a laugh at this all you need to do is just bend that little bit of metal so it's not touching and you've probably solved your short circuit i'm just using this as an example or it could be anything the point is think Go and find the problem, right? Don't just go, oh, what causes this? You can ask the question, but are you going to learn anything? That's my point. Do you want to learn? Think, think, think. Try and figure it out before you ask the question, maybe. Okay? Um, so, look, I've got to be honest. I can't remember what motivated me, so I'm not getting the message out exactly what I'm trying to say, but the note that I put in my phone was think, think, think. And I kind of went... That's right, yeah, someone's, I don't know if it was someone wrote something somewhere on Facebook or in a comment, um, you know, people ask, well, I put a video up, right, there's your free information, and people are putting comments, asking questions, I mean, you know, ask questions, general questions, to give me. some people are asking specific questions on their vehicles, right, and at the end of the day, you know, a post, a, a video isn't put there, so you can ask a completely off-topic question about your car. Maybe that's what I was talking about. Think, 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 right? That's why we've got the Facebook groups. You go there, you join the specific group, you know, Prado, Hilux, or the 1KD, or the 1GD, whatever you've got. You ask a question there, mate. Look, there's a lot of other people there that own these vehicles, that have worked on them, that have done modifications, they know the vehicles, and they can help. Quite often people are there putting replies and helping. And obviously we all appreciate those contributors, okay? That's what makes the group so awesome. These are the best groups on Facebook, okay? It's not what I'm saying, it's what people say, okay? Don't worry about this truck in front of me. He's probably being a bit cautious, courteous, going a bit slow. But I'm not in a hurry either, right? We're doing, well, we were doing the speed limit until it changed to 80 now, so we're not in a hurry. Nobody else is around, whatever. You know, we're just having a chat with you. Hope you get what I mean, right? If I remember what actually motivated me, I'll do another video, but it was pretty much along those lines. If it said think, 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 that's something that comes to mind and people seem to not think anymore, okay? So that's why I probably just call it think, think, think. There you go. Like always, guys, if you got something out of it, I hope that motivated you to think instead of just ask a question before you've even thought about it whatsoever and also think if somebody writes something on somewhere think does that does that sound right to you does that make sense okay if you want to get yourself educated on vehicles you know what to do subscribe turn the bell on give us a thumbs up if that was at least a little bit helpful and comments general comments you know ideas what you want to know for other videos and we'll try and get around to it as i said we can't always do everything and i'm certainly not going to be answering questions oh i've got a problem with my um you know whatever no nah, not doing it mate it's not there if you've got a problem with your vehicle you need to make contact with your vehicle technician 
And as I say, you need to be very careful who you go to. We have got a few people around we can recommend for Before Diesel Workshop Partners. And you can shoot me a text message for those. Even better, we've got limited people we recommend. So once you're in the VIP group, which you can only join once you're a client. So if you've been to me for parts or service, you can join the VIP group, okay? If you like my information, or you trust my judgment, if I'm gonna recommend someone you reckon they must be pretty good, I think you're probably right. If you wanna know who they are, with those repairs, you probably need some parts. So you contact me to purchase those parts kits, and once you join the VIP group, you can watch the videos, and that'll either help you do your own installation, if that's what you're planning to do, or our four before diesel workshop partners will be listed in that group, okay? We do keep them somewhat private until we've got more and we're always saying if you think you can do it put your hand up let us know who you are and we're happy to send you some business if we believe you're on the same page all right guys thanks for watching i'm out of here see ya